Good day to you all. This is my fifth video in the series of the Daniel McFarland cook coils I'm trying to build. So I will do some measurements on a permanent magnet because in the sentence that I analyzed uh, in the, as shown in the previous video, there is mentioned that you have to need a magnet or an electromagnet uh, to start up uh, or even produce with, with it. So I want to know more about the magnetic field uh, before I go further with it. So I came to the book of Joseph Newman Energy Machine. And when reading it, I agreed on the fact that he's stating that with the gyroscopic effects that you have with the magnetic field uh, that determines in which, di which direction you're going to move the electricity. So that I uh, find I have no trouble with. Uh, also with this figure, um, this side and this side I have no trouble, but in the center, that's another uh, discussion. So as shown in many movies on the internet, you see most of the time here a uh, blood wall, as they call it, as a, a, a sort of neutral zone. So I'm going to do some measurements and show it to you, and then you can all make your own conclusion. So. What I used for measurement is the coil of a small relay. It's a 24 volt DC relay. I removed everything, just the coil, uh, even the core is removed. So it's not magnetic. And I taped it to a stick so I can move it around. So I'm going to show you now some images. So I'm going to put it in a run, ask for a single shot so if i move from that direction to there we first got a negative and then a positive now we are asking again but in the other direction and you see it's the same first down then up now some can say okay this part is the back emf eh? when you go over the magnet and this is from the coil the the return but I don't think that it's, it's the case because when I start in the middle and I go to the outside, I only got a positive. Same if I go to the other side, also alone a positive, not a negative. So there's a difference in zones uh, where you have here on the, on the magnet. Now, when we do it on the other side, and we do the same, ask for a single image. So first up, then down, back again, first up, then down. Noticed in the previous configuration, it was first down, then up. Now for the side, when we going to look at that, so we do like this. Going up, so going a little bit up, then down, and then up, back again, going up, and then down, I'm going to try to start in the middle if I can see some difference, going down, then up. going up and then down. So I think there is a difference also over here in the middle, uh, like they call the, the blood shawl. But I'm not sure if I interpret it correctly. So back again, going up and then down. It was a little bit up, then down and then back up. So there has to be a, a difference in zones because as you can see in the previous, it's not back up, uh, back EMF, uh, excuse me, that we see it's, it's really a signal that we, that we measure. So also when you look at it with some kind of uh, magnetic film and we use smaller magnets, I'm going to see if you can see it. Okay. So 
if you look at it, here we have that, that blotch wall in the magnet. Now, if I'm going to put the sec second magnet, you have the two blotch walls, then I'm going together. Hopefully the light reflection is not. So I have now in uh, to the same piles to get, uh, so that's in uh, not in attraction mode. Uh, so you can see the two blotch walls stay. Now I go turn around the magnet. Now they are in attraction mode, going together. And then we only have the zone over here, the blotch wall. You see, hopefully, I can push the film a little bit down. So that's why I don't agree with, with this uh, picture. So I'm going to do some more measurements and show them to you so you can make your own uh, decision. So thank you for watching to this one.